Hey guys, all right, so it is July 1st. Happy Canada Day to everyone in Canada. Um, it's kind of stormy and rainy out right now, and so I thought it'd be a good time to kind of give you guys a little tour of the inside of the bus. All right, so we'll start here with uh, the driver's seat, obviously. Uh, I've got my radio there. I've got all the controls for the various lights and switches and um, stuff for operating the bus. And then I've got my navigation screen and um, obviously the uh, handle for opening and closing the door. And then um, over there, that orange thing in the corner is a GPS locator. Um, the little sticky note is to remind me to undo all of the uh, sewer lines and the water hookup and the electrical hookup um, before I leave in the morning. And then um, stuck on the window up there, you can also see my dash cam, which uh, will make a couple of appearances in some upcoming uh, blog videos. Oh, and of course, my cup holder. Can't forget that. Um, I did replace the original bus seat with a air suspension seat, which I gotta say, I'm pretty um, happy that I did. It definitely smooths out some of the bumps, at least for me. Um, sadly, not for everyone else. So then behind my seat uh, is one of the original bus seats that I repurposed as a passenger seat and then affixed a seat belt uh, to it and then fashioned a small little desk and um, that's kind of where I sometimes eat um, but mostly do my uh, work and blogging and uh, journaling from there. Um, just across the aisle from that is the sleeper sofa. So that's a full-size futon um, that pulls out into a full-size bed. And um, when I don't have other people in the bus, it makes a great place to just sit and read and relax and take a nap. So moving back uh, in the bus, uh, you'll see I've got the speakers to so the stereo. Um, I've got curtains. Uh, my mom made those curtains for me. Thanks, mom. Um, and then I've got IKEA cabinets uh, that I put in. So the first one houses the trash and the bin for Pepper's dog food. Oh, speaking of Pepper, she had a big day. She's sound asleep. I don't know, she might get up as we progress through. Um, so anyway, so back to the cabinets. So we've got uh, kitchen cabinets over here. On the right-hand side, I've got um, like silverware and some storage stuff. And then below that is like, you know, Tupperware and food storage um, and the coffee maker. And then let's see, I've got uh, the, the kitchen sink, obviously. And underneath the kitchen sink is the hot water heater. So then on this side, I've got um, more storage, and in that top drawer, I've got my um, plates and cups and uh, coffee mugs and that kind of stuff. And below that is storage, and I've got like extra camera gear and batteries and, and things like that in there. Next to that is the stove and the oven and the pots and pans go below the stove in the oven. Okay, so there's the refrigerator and on top of the refrigerator, I have uh, some baskets that I just store some like dry goods and like olive oil and you know, cooking uh, things in there. Uh, craft dinner, of course, cause I'm in Canada. Um, and then moving back, uh, let's see, we've got um, my closet here. And um, I think I forgot uh, Pepper's water bowl and food bowl are there on the floor. Um, there's a furnace right there below my closet. So when it gets cold, I can crank on the furnace. Um, and then I've got some more clothes like, um, you know, just folded up shorts and t-shirts and socks and underwear. And then back here is my not very neatly made bed. Um, and bedroom and you can see it's a full-size queen bed and I've got a fan back here as well for those warm nights which I haven't had a lot of 
Um, and then those two storage cabinets, um, the left one has more clothes in it and the right one is some electronics. Um, some of the bus controls are in there for like the house systems um, and the inverter and stuff like that are, are in there. And here's the bathroom. So I've got a composting toilet, which is right here. And it's awesome because I don't have to deal with like sewer water and stuff. That front tank holds all the urine and then the back tank holds all the solids. Um, and then coming around over here, I have a full 32 inch shower. In there. Okay, so that's basically the tour of the bus. Um, it's about 220 square feet. Um, and I don't know, so far it's uh, been more than enough space. It took a little bit of adjustment to get used to, but um, I don't know, so far we're, we're doing well. Pepper's clearly comfortable and sound asleep on the floor at my feet, which is where she usually is most days when I'm working on editing video or photos or um, writing the blog posts. So hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Follow along uh, Facebook, Instagram, search Out West Bus, and um, definitely check out the blog on outwestbus.com.